After wowing audiences here with productions like The Full Monty, Closer and Spring Awakening, theatre powerhouse Pangdemonium returned with Swing with Sharks, a darkly hilarious and subversive satire on the Hollywood movie industry. I'm meeting Adrian Pang and Josh Young to find more about the play. Believe me, I can handle but Pick up the phone, pick up the phone, pick up, pick up! Don't you have hands? I'm sorry, the phones have been going crazy. I don't care. If I get that answer machine one more time, I draw blood. Where's Stella? Oh, uh, just spoke to her office. She's not going to be back till... Swimming with Sharks is um, a play that is adapted from a movie of the same name starring uh, Kevin Spacey that was released I think in uh, 1994 which is a really long time ago. Well basically the story is about the relationship between a really horrible boss uh, played by myself uh, and his new personal assistant played by George Young and also the rivalry between the, the boss and another uh, movie producer uh, played by Janice Coe and it's this kind of power struggle between these three people over this one special screenplay that they're all trying to get their hands on and everyone's trying to get ahead of, of the other person kind of stepping on top of each other well when we decided to stage um, Swimming with Sharks it was very obvious to us right from the start that there was uh, the only way to do it was to stay faithful to the setting and the context of the play and of the story being being set in Hollywood. Um, and what the playwright has done with the original screenwriter's um, script is that he's kind of expanded the story and made the characters much more detailed and the dialogue much more kind of rich and colourful. So. Yeah, we're going to stay faithful to, to, to the setting of that. It's going to be set in Hollywood, but have no fear. You don't have to um, have any glimpse into Hollywood to be able to appreciate this because the story really is relatable to anybody who works for a living, who has to go into the office every day. You got to work? Yes. You like it? Yeah. What's it feel like? I don't know. Touch it. Your feet are lead! Touch it. Touch it. Stretch. Further. I, I can't. I can't. Then that guy is unreachable. And that's the way those are gonna stay if you use that fucking word in my office again. Am I clear? Yes, sir. So, find Stella. GPS, helicopters, whatever it takes. Yeah, there are bits, because Guy comes in, he's like this newbie character, he's wide-eyed, hopeful, he loves this sort of Hollywood, the whole glamour of Hollywood he's attracted to, and he, he, his, 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 all, all his memories are from movies, and um, comes in, and I identify with that with sort of the glamour of the movie industry, I, I mean, I fell in love with the sort of the film industry when I was young, but in terms of coming in as a complete newbie into a job and then finding out something completely different, uh, I, I definitely identify that when I used to be a lawyer, I used to be a lawyer and coming in the training solicitor in a law firm, my first day at work it was like, oh, you know, this is going to be like Ally McBeal, a TV series, anyone remembers that, I don't know. Um, but it was very different, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I had to do, a lot of the, uh, the, the rubbish work you have to do as a trainee. And you have your fair share of horrible bosses as well, like you do in this play. Uh, so I think a lot of people are going to relate to it. I think it's not just me. A lot of people who start off with their, their first few days in a job uh, are trying to just impress, trying to be nice and put up with a lot of stuff maybe they wouldn't in a few years. What are you doing here, guy? You asked me to go. No, no, here. Hollywood. Well, it's, it's just something I always wanted oh, to do. Please. No, I'm like you. I want to make decent movies. When? Now. Then quit. Right. I need the experience. I'll quit in a year when I Money know... Money and girls, business. save us the rest. No. Then why? You really want to know? It's a no holds barred uh, uh, roller coaster ride of, uh, of the Hollywood glitz and glamour and beyond. It dips right into it and it goes as far as it can get um, and beyond. Make it in this business, guy. 
There's no room for a personal life. No. Okay. Much less a relationship. Uh, absolutely no relationships, no. Absolutely no relationships. Hi, I'm Adrian Pang. Come and watch Pangdemonium's production of Swimming with Sharks playing at the Drama Centre from the 20th of September to the 7th of October. Tickets available at Cystic. Get yours now or the sharks will come and get you.